Hey guys, welcome back to the Drumheads. My name is Daniel, and I want to talk to you about shakers. So, you're looking at these cans, you're like, wow, where'd you get these cool vintage soda cans? Well, they're not soda cans, they're actually shakers, and these are from my friends at Index Drums. So, these things are awesome. They sound amazing, but what they, they just look so rad. I mean, to get this old school vintage RC Cola label on there, and I've had so many compliments and like people like I'd be playing and they'd be like, is he like shaking a, is he shaking a can? Yeah, but it's got a shaker sound to it, but gosh, it looks like it's old school. And it is. And it's even cool. It's even got like these, you know, old baseball players. So you got someone here from the California Angels, you know, like back when they put their stats and their batting averages and all that stuff. So, uh, but there's different, you know, loudnesses of the shaker. So this is probably my favorite one right here. Uh, I will not part ways with this with anybody. I've had several people like, oh, dude, I'll buy that off your mind. No, you won't. you go buy it from Index Drum. So there, you can see their label up here, Index Drum. So um, there's not anything to like, oh, there's a can. Let's, you know, let's open it. So this is a very smooth, recording-friendly shaker, and it's very balanced. So, you know... Very smooth, very mellow so if you're doing recordings i know some people's shakers like you're like ooh, it's kind of jarring and you know in the recording setting this would be perfect because it's not going to your the engineer is not going to be screaming at you you know like oh it's too loud it's too aggressive so just a nice just a nice smooth action so this is my favorite and then next we get a little bit louder so this is more like Seeds, you know, maybe coffee bean size. Again, it's got the label on it. It's, I mean, and it's a different baseball player, which is even cooler. So you've got two different uh, baseball players. This is the Seattle uh, Mariners. So, you know, we're keeping it different, different uh, organizations. So this one is more uh, more aggressive. This would be more, so you could still use it in the studio and probably get away with it. Uh, but this is great for live performances and outdoor stuff. So let's give that a go. You can tell the difference already. A little mind trick right there. That was kind of hard. Uh, but yeah, great shaker right there. And then this one, they're the same. So I've got two shakers that are, you know, same loudness. Uh, doubly loud, but then this one right here, and this one is in a beer can. So there's other beer cans uh, as well, and this one actually does have the zipper top. So I would be careful if you got some, you know, uh, friends that are uh, a bunch of booze uh, hounds. You know, it's got it on the bottom there, but since the, you know the logo is right here, and just this, it just looks cool because you're like, you know, Bonzo's beer. I've never heard of it. Uh, I want to say it's like Milwaukee or something. Pittsburgh. Not even close. Ha! <laughs> but yeah, it's got the zipper top. So this one, let me uh, put the earphones in. Uh, I'm always a big uh, advocate for hearing protection. So let me put these in just for a moment because it is loud to me in this confined space. So one sec. Pie tail is more noticeably louder uh, that time, and uh, this would be great for live performances. You you may be able to get away with your engineer. Let's you know, time will tell. Uh, but it just looks cool. So, and also if you're just looking for something to add around, like I I use these on my desk here as decorations. Like I uh, I just aesthetically they look cool. I like RC Cola. Uh, it's from the South, so that's kind of cool because I grew up in the South. Even though I don't identify myself as a Southerner, I just it's it's nice to see these little homages to, you know, like my childhood and stuff like that. So and like I put my like like little Lego figures that uh, I've taken from my kids. Uh, they've got like a thousand of them, so I'm like I need to put some Lego guys out here just to have them occupy it. So again, just great sounds, and you know you could uh, you know, you could also do some double action. 
that's the softer one. That's the medium one. So you do the two medium. That's another mime trick. That it takes a while to get used to having that alternating pattern going back and forth, but uh, very fun. Thank you to Index Drums for sending me these. Uh, I have loved them uh, in the moment I opened the box. because And they have other great stuff too, so go check them out. They've got a lot of more alternative percussion that's not, you know, so mainstream. You know, they're doing some really cutting edge stuff. Stuff with, you know, drums, like hand drums with pickups in it. You've got some like, almost like stacks, but they're, you know, look like wood blocks, but they got like, you know, the tambourine jingles on it. And it's just a lot of cool stuff. So go check them out. Index Drums. Highly, highly, highly recommend these stakers to anybody out there. Uh, I had these on display uh, at the percussion festival, and even the organizer of the whole festival, River Gagarian, like he came over, and I, I believe he got a hold of one of these, and he's like, oh, that's nice. He's like, can I have this? I'm like, yeah, have at it, man. Uh, I wasn't going to like let the, the organizer of the festival walk away. Uh, you know, empty handed, you know, for allowing me to show these off. So again, thank you to Index Drums for providing these. Uh, they have been, they have met my expectations and more. So uh, I kudos to that. So thank you.